The Olympics started off with, let's say, uh, <clears throat> a bang. As we all saw, fat queers, gay right activists, LGBTQ parading around us in, in, in see-through T-shirts, bottomless bottoms, with men's genitals exposed to children. Disgusting, to say the least. But huge fat singers walking around introducing the Olympics and our babies being used right in front of our very eyes as pieces of meat. The next day, YouTube took down the intro video, as did the AOC, as it got tremendous backlash globally. Even the people in France were in shock when they turned on their television sets to see what the Olympics had to offer. LeBron James walked the American flag to the water with Coco Golf as everything seemed to be normal. Then the grooming began. The big old fat fucking LGBTQ activist hit the stage. Minutes later, Kamala Harris endorsed this on her social media. This is what we expect. This is the new norm. Well, I won't accept it. Not this old porch yelling old fuck on the cloud, yelling at the clouds. Nope, fuck that. This shit is disgusting. It is an absolute slap in our face, and they don't care anymore. They are doing it in front of our very eyes. My one question to you is this. What in the fuck does fat, sloppy LGBTQ members and groomers, along with satanic worshipers and demonic humans, have to do with sports? What do they have to do with the Olympics? What do they have to do with America and the rest of the world? Riddle me that people my lead in smitty with this olympic thing what, what would your take god fearing man that you are myself i am as well what's your take about that whole thing because i'm taking a lot of heat on social media i posted a thing uh, a little in, a reaction video on uh, tiktok that kind of blew up and on instagram yesterday and there's a lot of people that come in there like the one thing and most people are actually agreeing with me but the one person there's a couple of people that come out there and saying that this isn't a mock or a, this isn't a uh this isn't a slap in the face at the Last Supper. It is a Greek mythology reference. And I'm mm. sitting there, I'm sitting there laughing like a motherfucker, dog, because I'm like the people that's the fan. So so they'll they'll dismiss a dude with his balls out in front of little kids right there on the Olympic stage, homie. I mean, it's out there. You can see yeah, it. So they'll dismiss that and act like it didn't happen and act like that that wasn't the main thing, keeping it the main thing. And they'll know, they're going to bring up what, they, what they're saying the Olympics was because it's in Paris. And it's a Greek reference to the mythology of, uh, of the Olympic gods. That, that's where the Olympics started, Greek, Greece. Um, so you're telling me, people that defend this and say this was not a slap at the Last Supper in the Bible, you're saying that it was... <laughs> You're saying that this right here was a Greek. So, by the way, Smitty, I don't know if you realize, I don't remember any Greek goddess or gods looking like that. Mm. And I don't, the last time I looked, Mount Olympus and, uh, and uh, all the gods that we all looked up to when we were young, Smitty. Right. Uh, Hercules. I don't look like that, homie, huh? I said Hercules. Ain't nobody look yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking see Hercules up there. I don't see any of these other Greek gods and goddesses. So miss me with the whole Greek mythology fucking uh, comparison, homie. Because that shit, I I'm going to kill your Greek mythology bullshit. And by the way, they literally said it on the bottom of the screen during the Olympic uh, thing that it was a fucking uh, Last Supper. Mm. It said it on TV. So I'm like, I'm like, hold up, what? But anyway, people will defend anything, homie, that, that that they actually believe in. They'll defend it to the T. Like, it is what it is. I'll defend me being me. Uh, you're going to defend you being you. Um, but, like, let's be honest. Like, <laughs> this shit right here was, like, an actual slap in the face to everybody that uh, – my question is, many, and all that other bullshit, all this shit right here is just sickening to me. But what does that have to do with the Olympics, sports – uh any sport activity or the olympics to say the least i just want to know that shit right there is just that and by the way that was a reaction by france uh people right. waking up to their television seeing this and they're actually disgusted in it so like 
And then finally, they realized they took so much backlash, they actually got canceled by the canceled. So they, they we, you know, the ones like, I say we, the ones that get canceled, actually got them off YouTube, got their shit taken down. They took it down because of the backlash. Come on, homie. That's Greek mythology. It's just <laughs> weird to me, if, if anything. So I, I did a little bit of research. I saw that the, like, the designer of this, the organizer, the, the creative behind this, Basically, he had like a little press conference or something. And he said that the goal was to showcase that in you know, in France, you can love who you love, be who you want to be, do what you basically do what you want to do. And he feels like they, they showcase that during the introduction. But it, in my mind is if you want to you want to represent everything about France, but you did. You, you represented one small particular group. And that's all you focused on. You didn't focus on nobody else from your from your community. So I just think that like that they use those terms sometimes to like cover up certain things. And it's like, bro, you, you're not representing all. You're not. You're you're, 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 you're absolutely that not. Guy, you know who that guy is, right? You're not representing the, the majority, honestly. You're not even representing you know who that the, guy the, is, the majority. Though, right? Excuse me. The guy you said, you know who that is, right? The guy you said that came out, the designer, the guy that started it. The, the who is designer it? made up human. Oh, okay. I didn't so, I it, wouldn't wasn't aware of that. Made up human, homie. So, like, it is what it is. We all have two eyes and two ears, bro. But like <laughs> you said, the biggest point that, like, forget everything else, whatever. The biggest point is, what does that have to do with sports? And I agree with that to, to a T. It has literally nothing to do with sports. Like, what what, what, what beyond your mind, your head, that this is the intro for the Olympics, bro? The Olympics, you got all these, you got the whole world being represented here, man. This is in y'all backyard. You, you want to put, you want to, you know, represent who y'all are, like, and this is what you put out. That's not representing France, and I ain't even been out there, but I know they ain't representing France. I know it ain't. I, I'm I, just I, it saying, don't make sense. It don't matter if that thing was was a fucking farmers market food display. I don't give a fuck if this made up human is out here making this shit, and then Kamala Harris and all these other fucking weirdos come out and defend it. That shit tells you right there that we got a problem. What did Kamala? Problem. How did Kamala defend it? She tweeted it out. She tweeted right away. Right, what a beautiful ceremony. This is what world should be. This should be all inclusive. Uh, blah well, blah blah. I, I, I'm pretty sure, just to protect you, JB, I'm pretty sure that was fake. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 99.9 no, percent no, no, sure no, no, that, no. that, that, Harris, that particular tweet was fake. Now I, I, now I do know, I do know she went to a, uh, like she's campaigning right now, so she went to like a, uh, like a drag queen like thing to talk to them. Again, she just that's just her promoting her, her trying to get votes, but. I did. I, I'm just. I'm just trying to protect you. I don't want you going here and people. Oh, JB just making so. I'm pretty sure that that was a fake tweet. Just, just to protect you. She tweeted out though. The the real tweet I'm saying from her actual account was about this is a, all. This should what the world should be about. This is what it is. This right minutes after the ceremony. So I don't know about the made up human shit. I didn't say she said that. I'm talking about right after the ceremony. She endorsed the ceremony. Like, mm. I'm pretty sure you can find it. Um, go out there and look that up. She endorsed the ceremony. I mean, it was it was all over everything. It was on CNN. They put it on the ticker. So I don't know about that part being fake. Um, but I know about the I know about her endorsing the damn uh, ceremony. So I don't know. It's just it is what it is, man. I, I, I just think it's a. Uh, we're in, we're living in a uh, upside down down world right now. That's all I can tell you, because the cats that don't have two eyes and just sit there and saw that, and then whoever going to come out and defend what they saw, to me, is the problem. Like that's the sole problem. Like I don't even care what you are, denomination, race, creed, color. Don't give a fuck. Like has nothing to do with sports. Has nothing to do with the Olympics. Has nothing to do with Greek mythology. Has nothing to do with the Bible. It has nothing to do with anything athletic. Like like you to your point. Like, like you got an you obese know, fat lady coming out no here. Athletes city. on here. There's no, like, there's no. And then trans. Like what? What the fuck is this? Is it a RuPaul? Is, what is it? Like, <laughs> come on, homie. Make it make sense, bro. It's a sad day, homie. That's all I'm saying. This is Olympics, Smitty. This is like, this is. I don't think people realize what it is. It's the Olympics. It's not. It's not. It's not like, you know, fucking JV fucking football game. <laughs> like nobody's there watching. Only your mommy and daddy came to support you. No, this is the Olympics. All eyes are on the Olympics. The ceremony used to be like a huge thing. We used to like shoot the fire into the thing. Remember, boom. And I mean, it's embarrassing, homie. I, I, I really don't understand how anybody could defend it, regardless of your beliefs or whatever. 
It has nothing to do with anything. Like, you exploited kids right in front of our face. Cat's nuts is hanging out right in front of kids. Like, what the fuck are we doing? I talked to a girl, Smitty, the other day, before we move on, that has a cousin who's a gay man. So she's like, you know, I'm in the gay community because of my, my cousin, but I never would let my kids be witness to this stuff. And he lives in Frisco. I take my kids to Frisco, and she told me yesterday on the phone, there's literally naked dudes walking down the street in Frisco, balls hanging, and he, she has to tell her kids to put her head down. Mm. Like, what the fuck Remember we, saw, we saw that, there were, were, uh, it was a clip or something months ago that they, they did that, they were doing some sort of, I don't know if it was a protest or a celebration or what, but it's, it's best part what you're saying, they're just doing it just on the regular now, huh? But, but, but I asked her, you know, me, and, and, and I'm like, look, I don't mean to offend you, and I, go, I know you got blood that's gay and all that. It is, each his own. But at what point is the tipping point for you? Is it your cousin that's gay that is okay with this weirdo shit, or is it your kids and protecting them? Like, I got to ask you, you got to pick a side, homie. Like, when do you pick a side? I get it. That's your cousin. These are your kids. Your fucking kids. You actually birthed. Which one are you defending? Like, I asked her straight out. She kind of got mad, but it is what it is, homie. Are you defending your children from seeing this? Or are you protecting your cousin who chose to be gay? Like, I don't care about being gay. All I'm saying is, when it, when it turns to be this weirdo shit about, like, pushing it on our kids and our children and allowing our babies to see it and be accustomed to seeing it, that's the problem I have. There's a line to be drawn, dog. Like, that's just is what it is. I, there's a line to be drawn, in my opinion. So, I don't know, man. Um, and, 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 and I agree. Like, if you can't answer that question, um, I don't believe you should be parenting. And that's why I believe that's why I asked her. Because I'm like, are there a lot of parents like you out there? Like, I got a question? <laughs> uh, my kids first? Like, what's going on here, homie? Like, California passed a law, homie. That and we're really trying to consider that this Democratic Party as being like legitimate, like God fearing. What we're telling, we're changing the sex of our babies in school, and we're allowing it. Newsom, come on, man, I got a problem with it. But anyway.